Welcome. This video is about shortcuts in Eclipse and I will show you some shortcuts in Eclipse and I will also try not to use my mouse in this video. Only navigate through my code with the keyboard. So the first shortcut is um, selecting words. I, I uh, press control and left right so I can jump through different words right now. Okay, pretty easy. Next one is uh, jump to the end of the line with the uh, end button on your keyboard or to the start of a line with the home button. It had actually two home locations for each line. Next one is selecting text. You press shift and navigate through a code with left right or with up down or with end or beginning. So if you want to select the whole line you go to the beginning press shift and end and you have the whole line selected. Next one is select all is control A and next one is deletion deletion of a row. You go to the row and hit control D. Okay. You can also select some lines, hit control D. Next one is move a selection let's select the line and we move it up so I, I press alt and up down so I can move this line through my code or I can uh, select more lines okay next one is find and replace so you hit control and F and here you can uh, find a string for example run and there it is it's the only location in my code and the next one is correct indentation for example do it this rows if I want to move it to the right side I hit control I this also works with, with more than one line control I okay format code this is for example if you have created an if statement, if true, and then you praise this here, and this out statement here, and this here. So if you want to correct your code, you select it and hit Control, Shift, and F. So now it, it looks much better. Next one is fix your code with Control 1. For example, if you have a typo in your text. Let's say you write print n instead of print ln. Then you say control one and change it to print line. Also, you can create methods like this. For example, you have an integer variable and a method which does not yet exist with a parameter, a string, text. And this gives you an error, so you say control one and create method. And it creates a method for you here. It has a parameter string and the name is a method and the return value is integer. Okay. And toggle comments, for example, if you want to comment that line, you say control seven or control uh, slash. Okay. And yep, control seven again. To complete your code, for example, you want to create a for loop, you write you write four and then you hit control space and you can now choose if you want to iterate over an array or over a, colle over a collection, let's say iterate over an over an array, okay. Or you can say sys sys o for example, and this is uh, this leads only to this statement because this is the only the option the compiler gives you. When you write sys, you have some different. You have sys out, 
So the four letters sys o always leads to that. Sys error leads to that. So sys e should lead to that as well. Let's check the sys e control space. Oh no, you have two options here. Okay. So the quickest way to create a printout statement, pr print line statement is uh, just sys o and control space. Okay. To duplicate a row, you hit uh, Control, Alt, and up and down. Okay, for example, up. Okay. Undo, redo is done with Control Z, Control Z, or Control Y. Okay. Copy, paste. Of course, you know that, but still, I mention it. You select the text and hit Control C for copy, and uh, Control V for paste, or you select something and Control X for uh, to extract it or to cut it, and Control V to paste it. Next one is extract a local variable. Okay, you create a variable text, then you go over it and hit Control Shift L and it asks you how to call this variable so uh, let's say r1 and then it creates this variable for you and the last one is save so the save your document is uh, shift s or control s and if you want to save all your documents when you have more documents opened here in this line you hit uh, control shift s Okay, so that's it. And one last shortcut is Control V, Control W to close the window. Okay, thank you. Bye.